This is Under the Big Top on Reaper 1. Yeah, I'm debating whether I want my Cold Resistance Cloak or my Falir and Mirror Cloak because there's a lot of uh, hold spells and CC type spells that are subject to spell resistance. And while 17 isn't necessarily a guaranteed no save type of number, um, you know, I, I'd like to test it out and see if it's good enough. So I'm going to go ahead and swap on this, and if we're taking a lot of cold damage, I might, I might uh, think differently. The big, the big risk is uh, Nyx Cold Ray. Um, which the Reapers do, that's pretty big damage. So that's the, the one, and there's no save to it. So that's the one thing that I'll have to watch for and see, you know, see if I'm missing it. So anyhow, uh, that's that's the plan. I'm going to keep my shield quickie on for Reapers and also because these The attractions at the it. entrance appear disturbingly normal. And now that I'm in Reapers, I've got to remember to also use my Heroism Cloak and my Eagle Splendor Cloak. Alright, two champions and a Reaper. That was pretty bad luck. Pretty bad draw. Let's see if the Hireling's going to get me. Yep, there we go. This Reaper. And right on the nose, so I don't have my mummy mummified bad in for this one because I'm uh, wearing my uh, voice of the master. But we'll see if we, um, you know, if we need it, we'll, we'll swap. It seems like my spot's working just fine. So this blue wheel of right, ill that fortune was a seems less dreadful. Success on a three, so that that gives me a lot of confidence there. I wanted to see if I failed, uh, then I need to switch to my dis disable. All right, so it's the X, and I'm just gonna pull up real quick the Party Crashers, uh, Party Crashers DDO Wiki.com article, and uh, you can find that most easily by just typing Party Cra or not Party Crashers, I'm sorry, under the big top uh, DDO, DDO, and uh, it should come up as one of the top couple entries. Um, on this one, I could pretty much see what the rune wheel is by just simply looking over here and seeing it's an X but on some of the other ones it's a lot of running around so I'm just gonna pull up the wiki article as a quick reference all right rambush <laughs> the rune locks into place, the eldritch power of the wheel of ill fortune dissipates, rendering the wheel inert. trap in this one is inside this tent or 
not the trap, I should say the trap boxes in this tent. The green wheel Success on a one. Okay, no so that's that's really good unfriendly. on Reaper here. So that means we're probably not going to have to worry about blowing up trap boxes. And I'll, I will, you know, there might be one or two difficult. Uh, okay, we get ready for an ambush. Triangle. Oh, no ambush. Lucky us. All right, let me looks like my buffs ran out. Let me redo those. Trap box should be right here. The major threat posed by this yellow wheel of ill fortune has been neutralized. Probably going to definitely get an ambush here because we have to get all the way over to this one. Hmm. Triangle and oh, I did the wrong. I did the wrong symbol. It's supposed to be the diamond, so I passed it up. There we go. I like that little portal up there. Okay, get ready for this. Alright, champion down. I'm going to do it for the casters first, but if I see a champion, I'll take the champion down. Things harassing our higher link. Yeah. Little chest, but unfortunately, we can't access that little chest. All right, I'm gonna. I want to. I'm gonna save this shrine a little bit longer. Um, these little fireball guys make me a little bit nervous. I think we'll survive it, but I'm a little worried the hireling might not. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to take these guys down. Hope the, hope the hireling doesn't die from it. No, not too bad. Uh oh, reaper. Okay, this is a test here. Let's got it. All right, good deal. All right, well, I'm gonna. Renew my buff and do this. Let's just get it full. All right. And again, the reminder in this area is we only need the orange and the purple. And there's the, I see the orange. Let's get this champion. Mark the boss here. So I'm saving my um, lay on hands for uh, the moment my hireling dies. Uh, but if I get below 100, I'll use it. That seems to be pretty um, seems to be pretty pretty risky once I get below 100. But I was pretty close to using it there. But she threw a heal at the me. Nearby red All right. So normally on Reaper, I wouldn't pick this up, but I like collectibles, powerful. so I'm gonna go ahead. Yeah, that's a weird one where when you pick up when you get to that collectible, you actually spawn a few hellhounds. But we have good fire resist, so we don't have to worry about that. All right, orange. So Wiki says orange is the circle. You ready for ambush? Nope. All right, now I'm just gonna peek around here. Try not to activate those guys. It's yellow, so we don't need that one. I'm just gonna skip it, that whole area. We need purple. And we've been lucky so far. It's always been in the path we're going to. Let's see. And our luck continues, all three, all three runs. So that means we can skip this path and this path. So that's less fighting, that's good. And we got a minute left on our buffs, that should be enough for this fight. Caster, Illusionist is a tough one. All right. trap here and even without my mummify bat I'm seeing the trap and some quests I'm not but this one I am all right let's I roll a 
15 success. So, all right, purple is the square. Ambush. We do have a shrine coming up. Save me from a trip, just from a command. Or from that explosion, whatever that was. Let's get this champion guy down. And that reminds me, I should be. Am I using? Yeah, I got my protection from evil on. That looks like. Let's see. Nope, that was the aura of good, so let me give to myself and my hireling. And even though my I'm not really failing my skill checks, I'm going to go ahead and do one more fight and then I'm going to go back and shrine. Kind of amusing here. The three outhouses are marked men's, women's, and war forged. All right, you can see we didn't really, really even need these shrines on lower difficulties, but. Um, I was kind of borderline. I think I probably could have been okay. I still had a clicky left, but Marissa definitely needed a needed a refresh. Just got a few more ambushes and then the end fight. And if we get mobbed by Reapers, we're gonna run back towards that shrine uh, to give ourselves a chance to reset if if uh, the things high go striker bad. stands ready for some. <laughs> Cold damage, not too bad from this non champion. Making a save. Um, can't tell if that was a save or a spell pen check, but I want to see if this spell pen is working. Let me go check on my combat log. It kind of flows by so quick it's hard to tell. Um, Yeah, so it's looked like I saved versus a Sonic Blast, so that's good. Um, was looking to see if I made any um, spell resistance roll success. Nope, doesn't look like it. So I'm curious to see that. I think the end boss here does also have spells that could be resisted by spell resistance. So I'm curious to see if this helps at all. Certainly if we were a drow, it probably would help. We get to a pretty high spell resistance number, but we don't have anything besides An this. And unnatural so I'm not sure if it's the useful at this level or not. Tableau. We have one more ambush. I'm just going to get topped off here before that. <laughs> Famine Reaper is where they give you healing debuffs, so 
Ireland doesn't necessarily understand that. A contingent of Fialan agents stands near the only open entrance into the tent. Their leader watches you expectantly. In the low light of the big top, you can make out Yule de Fialin's form. She and her infiltrators stand ready to do violence. Since we shrined, I've got all my clickies left, so I'm going to go ahead and give this. Once she shows up, I'm going to start. Uh, she has a little bit of a speech, so I'm going to go ahead and, once she shows up, start my uh, kind of rebuffing. There she is. And that'll probably be enough to get us through this quest. And Heroism Potion and Eagle Splendor, and that's both of those help me with saves, and the Eagle Splendor also helps with my damage a little bit. And the saves because as a paladin we get bonuses to our saves based on charisma. So I could swap to my true seeing item here to get around this blurry, but that's not too bad. Alright. See if I can loot this chest real quick before she starts attacking. Didn't see anything real interesting in there. Alright, so she she has a lot of spells she cast. I hit a save. I'm curious to see if she does anything to spell resistant save. I'm gonna try to get her turn for my higher link. Casters first. Casters, then champions. Oop, knock down. Alright, and I've got my holy cold iron, which is good because she's a demon. So I'm going to use that on her. She's breaking her DR. Alright, nice run. That was a good run. And we get three chests on an Elite or Reaper. Either one of those. Reaper or Elite gives three chests. Nothing too interesting there. I'm going to uh, recall out and get my end reward and then my arc and reward for completing the chain. This is our third time with completing the chain, so I believe I will get a large list of things to choose from this time. That's the one advantage of you know that first life as a free to play. You have to run normal, hard, and elite, but you do get to see all the uh, all the end rewards um, on your third run through, which is really great. It's murky. That's light resistance. We don't really have a light resistance item, so let me let me think about whether I want to put another thing in my inventory. Um, we're not really. I might stick it in my since I have that extra 20 spots. I might just stick it in my bank for now. I'm trying to think if there's any uh, big light damage that we might be taking, and uh, I don't think at this level there is yet. All right. So arc and reward. Yeah, you can see that big list. I believe all the items are there. Um, we took Antique Great Axe. And uh, what was the other thing we took? Did we take Utility Vest? We might have taken Utility Vest. Let's see, is it in there? I maybe didn't have room for it in my uh, inventory before. So that's, that's a ni nice item. That's plus six, plus oh. Plus six, disable and open lock, and our items are 
Level 3, so we probably don't need that. And level 7, so that at least the open lock one would be good. But open lock's not as critical. Um, Ring of Elemental Essence is kind of an iconic item if you're a caster. But we're, again, we're probably not going to worry about that until, let's see, Roderick's Wand. Summon Unknown Monster, caster level, se or caster level, level 7. Uh, this might be fun just to try it out. Nothing really is that useful um, on here to us. We don't really want another antique great axe. We don't need the shields. Um, utility vest is kind of marginal at best. The disable certainly for one more we don't need. And we could probably get that open lock from a glasses as well from one of that level four uh, chain, the same place we got the disable. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this Roderick's wand just because it might be kind of fun. And that is the Under the Big Top on Reaper 1.